Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and it's time for episode two of Five Product Face. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I'm gonna link the first episode in the description box. Basically, this is a new little series that I wanna start on my channel. I don't really have a set schedule for how often I wanna do this, but I just woke up feeling a little bit like garbage today. I just have that pre-sick feeling. So it seems like a good day for an easy, really light makeup look. Took some vitamin C, I took some ibuprofen, I got some water, we're doing what we gotta do. Basically the premise of this little five product face series is that I'm gonna use only five makeup products total. I will be using a pretty minimal amount of tools like brushes, sponges, lash curler, stuff like that. But I really wanna keep these five product face routines as simple and to the point as possible. There's three reasons why I want to continue this series. First and foremost is just to showcase really high quality products, things that stand on their own. You don't have to make them work. They don't need any special extra treatment just really high quality products. Typically, they're gonna be great multitaskers. You get the gist. I wanna give you tips to do really easy makeup looks, whether you're on the go, whether you're like me and just feeling a little bit garbagey and you just don't really wanna put that much effort in, or if you're just not, you know, in general in a full face kind of mood. I love a full glam look, full beat, but you know, I don't wanna do that every day. I don't have time. Sometimes I don't have the energy or the motivation. So that kind of leads us to the third reason for this series. I really want to showcase some more low key makeup looks. The YouTube beauty space is absolutely filled with really, really incredible, glamorous, artistic, groundbreaking looks and tutorials. And I love that. I love watching those. I love wearing a lot of makeup, experimenting with colors, doing all that stuff. But I do think that it's also important to showcase and really help normalize a super low key makeup look. A lot of people wanna wear that. A lot of people are just more interested or more comfortable with that type of beauty and makeup application. So there's space for everybody here. We are just gonna do some low key looks because let me tell you, low key is all I have energy for today. I want to make sure that I make all of these episodes really, really different. I am gonna be using completely different types of products for this look. I think that the end result is gonna be pretty different as well. The only overlap is mascara. There's probably gonna be mascara in all of these, but otherwise we're doing something really different. So let's stop talking about it and just do it. I'm gonna start with the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. I use the shade 5N. I did do a whole video about this product when it launched, so I'll try to remember to link that in the description if you are interested in that. I just did about two pumps and I'm just gonna sort of rub it in, warm it up on my fingers here, and just sort of slap it on. This is such an easy like slap on and go type of product. This doesn't have a ton of coverage but it does do a really nice job of just sort of generally evening out my skin which I appreciate. This also feels super comfy which obviously because it's a moisturizer. Just gonna go with a damp sponge and tap a little bit so that I don't have any like finger swipe marks but this stuff is super forgiving so it really does not take much. It doesn't take much work. I love that. Should I zoom you in a little bit? I think I will. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit more, not even one whole pump. And I'm gonna layer a little bit more of that sort of in the center of my face where I want more coverage. And I'm also gonna bring that down onto my neck just so that everything looks even. That's it, that's all I'm doing for my skin. I'm not gonna go back in with concealer. I really just want something lightweight and comfy and easy because I don't feel good. Did I mention that? Also, we're just going to ignore this 
little scar that's hanging out right here from a monster zit that I had a couple days ago. It's just part of life. It's part of having skin. I'm not gonna worry about covering it up. It's fine. It's fine with me. Hopefully it's fine with you. Before I do anything else, I'm going to add my lip color. This is the Chapstick Total Hydration Vitamin Enriched Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Blushed Bronze. It is one of my favorite things to put on my lips. That just added a little bit of life back into my face. And this is so comfy and hydrating and just, oh, so good. This was in my best of 2019 video and I stand by that. The third product in my five product face is this little blush from NYX. I don't even know if they still sell these. This is from the HD blush line. I feel like this has been discontinued and I don't know why because these blushes are so, so good. This is the shade Nude Tude. This is a very nudey little blush. So I'm gonna kind of use this as both blush and bronzer just to, again, bring a little color back to the face. I want to accomplish a lot with very little. So we're gonna, we're really gonna blush it up today. I'm also gonna take the same blush, that little NYX blush, and I'm just gonna switch over to my little ColourPop blending brush. I'm gonna add that to the eyes. This does not need to be precise. I mean, you can be precise if you wanna be, but I'm not gonna be. You just have to do what feels right for you. And for me, just slapping on a bunch of makeup today and going with it is what feels right. Subtle, but cute. Now, in a shocking turn of events that I may regret later, in lieu of using a tinted brow gel, I'm gonna use a single eyeshadow. This is just a dark brown matte shade. It's called Cloud Nine. This is a ColourPop single. And I'm just gonna use that to really lightly fill in my brows. See how I have these little spots, especially right here, where it's just a little gap in my brow. So instead of using brow gel, which I probably desperately need. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm gonna use this little eyeshadow and I'm just gonna put it on an angled brush and just really lightly work through the brow. I already have pretty thick full brows, so I don't need a lot, but I do feel like this makes a big difference for me personally, and that's kind of what it's all about just whatever you like and whatever suits you. See how that just filled in that gap a little bit? It's nothing too dramatic. Same thing over on this side. Voila, easy, easy. I'm gonna go back in with that same shadow on the same brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my eyes too, sort of close to the lash line here. Just doing a little smudge. Really not adding a lot, not being too precise. Just adding a little definition to the eye. Staying really, really close to the lash line. All right, I'm not gonna film the last step. I mentioned this in my previous video that I hate watching people apply mascara, so I'm not gonna make you watch it. And a couple of other people commented that they also hate watching people apply mascara. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'll be using my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I am gonna curl my lashes a little bit. Then I'll come back to show you my finished five product face. So here is the finished product my finished face. I feel like this looks pretty darn good. This is definitely the kind of look that I would wear day to day if I'm just in a hurry to pick up my kid or I just want a little something, you know, gonna go hang out with friends or go out for a quick lunch or something. I do often like to put on just a little bit of makeup just because it's fun and it makes me feel good. There's definitely a place for this sort of beauty 
in the world, on YouTube, and I just want to sort of reiterate as we finish here, you can wear this much makeup, you can wear no makeup, you can wear lashes, liner, full glam, contour, and anything in between, and that is wonderful. It's more than acceptable. Whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you happy, whatever you enjoy and just have fun doing, that's what you should do. I know that when you see all of these amazing like Instagram worthy looks, this just doesn't really look like much. It's not much, that's the point. <laughs> but I like it. I feel a little freshened up and I feel cute even though I feel like I'm getting sick. So that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm so glad that you seem to enjoy the first episode of Five Product Face. I'm excited to just keep discovering really great standalone products and sharing different quick makeup looks with you. I always want to hear what you guys think about this look. What do you think about this series? Is this something that you're interested in seeing more episodes of? I hope so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hey, hey, uh cute. I hope I don't sound as bad as I feel. Is it? <laughs> I can't afford to be sick because this is my filming day. <laughs> uh, huh? Why did that sound so weird? It, oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Hi. I am questioning my decision not to wear brow gel today, but you know what? We've made it this far, so. My finished fry, fry product. <laughs> This tinted moisturizer is really impressive because I feel like it definitely made a difference. I mean, it didn't cover up this scar, but my skin looks really evened out. And I mean, what you're seeing is under a ring light, which is, you know, it helps a little bit, but it's not like I'm, I'm not using a filter or anything. So I feel like it made my skin look really good. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Also, for the real ones that stay to the end and watch all the bloops, my old ass joined TikTok. So go follow me over there if you do that. I literally don't know how to be cool or funny or dance or lip sync or anything, but I do show more makeup stuff. And I feel like since you clicked on my channel, you probably also like makeup stuff. I don't know, maybe, I hope so. Otherwise you're lost and then it's really surprising that you made it this far in the video. Anyway, follow me on TikTok at Real Makeup Just For Fun so that I'm not just posting to no one. Uh, anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, probably gonna go lay down and drink water and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.